Barcelona is one of Europe's most popular cities, and with good reason. The historic capital of Catalonia is packed with galleries, museums, historical attractions and places to eat. Set between the mountains and sea, it's a buzzing and vibrant city, celebrated for its unique architecture, famous artists and city beaches. If you only have a few days in the city, here are some of Barcelona's top things to do. Sagrada Familia Almost every city has at least one landmark that you simply can't miss, and the Sagrada Familia is Barcelona's. Antony Gata's magnificent masterpiece has been in construction for more than 130 years, but it's still not finished. Far from a building site however, the church features two grand facades studded with intricate stone carvings, towers which gleam with gem-like tiles, and an interior filled with tree-like columns which soar up toward the canopy ceiling. The building is expected to be completed in time for the 100th anniversary of Gata's death in 2026. Discover La Sagrada Familia, Barcelona truly extraordinary in its vision, scale and ambition, Barcelona's unfinished church, La Sagrada Familia, is a must-see monument. Gata's designs While the Sagrada Familia may be the most famous of Gata's buildings, all of his wonderful whimsical designs are worth a visit. The most well-known are Casa Botlo with its iridescent dragon-like scales and skull and bone-like balconies, and La Pedrera with its undulating stone facade and fanciful chimneys. Some of his lesser-known, but equally beautiful buildings include Casa Vicens, the first house he ever designed, Palau Ghul, which he designed for his patron Eusebi Ghul, and the Torre Belsgard. Gothic Quarter Barcelona's Gothic Quarter is the oldest and most atmospheric part of the city. Characterized by small alleyways, hidden plazas and historic buildings, it lies to the east of La Rambla, the famous pedestrian street that runs through the center of the old town. It's scattered with century-old shops, small bars and cafes. Some highlights of the Gothic Quarter include Placa San Jam, home to the Grand Palau de la Generalitat, the impressive cathedral, and the striking Placa Real, fringed by cafes and palm trees. Explore Barcelona's food markets La Boqueria might be the most famous of Barcelona's food markets, but each neighborhood has its own, so there are several excellent ones to choose from. La Boqueria is the oldest and one of the most atmospheric, but in recent years, more stalls have given over to things such as tropical fruit shakes and novelty candy, rather than traditional produce. For a more authentic vibe, visit the modern Mercat Santa Catarina with its multicolored wavy roof or the Grand Mercat de San Antony, which reopened in 2018, after nine years of renovations. Barcelona's City Beaches Whatever time of year you visit Barcelona, the beaches won't disappoint. Even in winter, it can be sunny enough to sit outside and enjoy a meal at one of the seaside restaurants, while summer offers everything from sunbathing and swimming to water sports. The city boasts a 5-kilometer stretch of coastline, home to nine different beaches. There's San Sebastia with its range of upscale restaurants, Somorastro lined with hip nightclubs, and Nova Icaria with its water sports center and beach volleyball. Manjuic Manjuic is the green hill to the south of the city, home to the Olympic Park, as well as numerous museums and gardens. Rising from Plaza de España, the first sight you'll be met with are the grand sets of stairs and fountains cascading down the from the magnificent palace housing the Museu Nacional d'Art de Catalunya, MNAC. Behind this lies the huge Olympic Stadium and the rest of the Olympic Park. Tapas when hunger pangs arrive in the afternoon or early evening, locals head out for a pre-dinner tapa. This means heading to the local favorite for a bite of anchovies, sausage, squid, wild mushrooms, roasted peppers or dozens of other tempting morsels. Wine, cava and beer all make fine accompaniments. Many tapas spots are lively stand around the bar affairs. When it's time for a change of scenery, Barcelonans might make their way to dinner or just head to another tapas bar and skip the sit-down formality altogether. Museu Picasso Picasso lived in Barcelona between the ages of 15 and 23, and elements of the city undoubtedly influenced his pieces, from the colorful but simply painted frescoes hanging in the Museu Nacional d'Art de Catalunya to the imaginative Trencatus-style mosaics, pre-cubist some say, of Gaudi. The museum's setting adds to the appeal, as do the buzzy history-rich surrounding streets of El Born. Camp No. FC Barcelona plays a prominent role in the city's imagination. 
Heading to a match at Camp Nou from September to May is the best way to catch a bit of Barcelona fever, but watching it on screen at a tavern can be just as much fun, depending on the crowd. Even if you can't make it to a game, the interactive Barca Stadium tour and museum experience takes you through the locker rooms and out onto the pitch, hallowed ground for many Catalans. Barcelona's famous nightlife The Barcelona Night holds limitless possibilities. Start with sunset drinks on a rooftop terrace or sink your heels into the sand at a rustic chic beachside Zyringuito. As darkness falls, the city transforms with buzzing squares and live music, and towards midnight the bars fill. Pick from old-school taverns, plush lounges in lamp-lit medieval chambers, sleek cocktail dens, boisterous cava bars, basements churning out brassy jazz, and more. If you're still standing at 3 a.m., hit the clubs for Barcelona's unabashed wild side. La Rambla sure, this leafy, historical, 1.2 km pedestrian boulevard stretching towards the sea is the most touristed spot in town, at times you can barely push through the crowds, but come first thing in the morning and you'll see that, beyond the takeaways, souvenir shops and crafty cellars, it's pure sensory overload. Open-air cafes, fragrant flower stands and a much-overlooked mosaic by Miro. The pavement, while key venues line both sides of the street, including the elegant Grand Teatro del Lysu, the sprawling Mercat de la Boqueria and numerous galleries. Several other barris, such as El Poblenou, have their own attractive rambles too. Catalan cuisine. Barcelona is a great foodie city, known throughout the world for its innovative chefs and creative cuisine. While you'll find tapas bars everywhere, be sure to sample some local Catalan dishes too. Before you dine, join in Laura del Vermut at a typical vermouth bar paired with an aperitif of pickled anchovies and olives. Traditional Catalan dishes include things such as butifera AMB mangites, sausage with white beans, suque de pex, fish stew, escalivada, roasted red peppers, onions and aubergine, and crema catalana, like creme brulee. We like Café de Lotademia and Casa del Fin. Catalan festivals as there's a festival on in Barcelona almost every other month, it won't be hard to make your trip to the city coincide with one. There are the patron saint festivals of Santa Eulalia and La Merce in February and September respectively, La Diada de San Jordi, when people give each other gifts of books and roses to celebrate Saint George, and the Crazy Fire Festival of San Joan in mid-June. Some of the main features of Catalan festivals include the Castellers or Human Towers, huge parading giants and Corafox, where firework-wielding devils dance through the streets. Fendicio Joan Miro Joan Miro, the city's best-known 20th-century artistic progeny, bequeathed this art foundation to his hometown in 1971. The light-filled buildings are crammed with seminal works, from Miro's earliest timid sketches to paintings from his last years. Modernista architecture One of the things that makes Barcelona so charming is its modernista architecture. The Modernisme era lasted from the late 19th to early 20th century and was an artistic movement which affected everything from literature and art to architecture. You can identify these buildings because of their bright colors, floral or botanical motifs, pattern tiles and curvy lines. Some of the best examples can be seen around the example area, but you can also find them dotted all over the city. Besides Gata's Modernista works, some of the best examples in the city are the Palau de la Musica Catalana and the Recinte Modernista de San Pau, both designed by the architect Luis Dominique I. Montaner. El Poblenou on the up is the formerly industrial neighborhood of El Poblenou, northeast of the center. Here Vanchant warehouses are being reimagined as creative tech and design hubs, cafes, boutiques, bars and more. Examples Rooftop bars admire modernista marvels over a cocktail or vermouth. Examples Elegant streets conceal an array of hidden away, view-laden open-air bars and cafes beloved by Barcelonans, many of them within Swish hotels but open to all.